Hey guys, Bruce Warrington here with Advanced Wildlife Solutions of Forest Wildlife. It's September 4th, 2024, and we're getting close to hunting season coming in, and the weather's actually dropped a little bit here in Georgia. It's been extremely dry, but we're seeing a little bit of rain in the forecast, but unfortunately not enough, at least it doesn't look like it. But we want to talk about food plots for a minute and plant dates. And we're seeing a lot of guys plant, it seems like earlier and earlier every year. Um, I started custom planting years and years ago, and I don't do it anymore, but when I did, probably 15, 16 years ago, I started doing mid-October instead of mid-September if I had any moisture, and it was a world of difference in activity I would see. I mean, to me, the trick is keeping those plants in the infancy stage longer, and you just see way more activity. Not to mention, you don't have to worry about as much um, problem with your plots dying because of the heat, and we're normally getting some rain back by the end, because, you know, September is kind of historically dry for our area here in Georgia. But we're seeing guys plant extremely early and we worry about them having to replant. You know, army worms are really bad this year. I mean, they've been worse than I've ever seen them since I've been keeping up with army worms, but they've been really bad. But these guys are trying to get a jump start on getting everything done for the year and be ahead of the game so they're not spooking any deer, which is which is great. In some places you have to do that. I mean, I've got a track on, on our river track that I have to plant really early just to, to get in and get out. And that's what I choose to do. But I run the risk of, of crops dying and that happened last year. I planted while it was raining. I was soaking wet while I was planting. And the rain shut off and those crops died. Um, it got back really hot and really dry and they died. So we're seeing a lot of guys that are, that, are, that are planting based on when deer season comes in instead of when that crop should be put in the ground. We've learned that about 30 days is when guys feel like the countdown is you know, 30 days before deer season and anything inside of that they think is a day too late, but you know, it's just not the case. I mean, a lot of these crops you're planting like sewer grains, for example, I mean, you know, farmers won't plant them to make a seed until you need to put a jacket on, you know, here in Georgia. And we got guys planting two or three weeks ago, you know, thinking they're too late, but you just, you just run a big, uh, a big risk there. Um, you know, if you went to our warehouse right now, you'd see a building full of seed and dealers have seed, but that's just guys having things to get ready for, for customers to take and, and be ready to plant when the time comes. Um, also, like if you look at any farmers or row croppers and talk to them, or any I've talked to at least, they'll tell you they like to plant based on when they know they have moisture, meaning after a rain, not because the rain's coming. And this week that we're in now is a prime example. You know, all last week guys were talking about, man, I'm gonna start getting ground ready. We've got five days of, of really good rain and now it's gone. Those forecast chances have changed. Now we're showing very little, very little rain. So, you know, it's kind of going to be a tough, tough thing for those guys that put some crops in and they get a quarter inch of rain or something like that, and it, it pops up a little bit and then and stops raining. But uh, anyway, just something to think about plant dates, um, at least after September 15th here, where we're at, you know, mid-September. I like the first week or two of October. I've probably got over 100 people to swap to mid-October. To my knowledge, none of them will ever go back because they see so much more activity and survivability of food plots. But y'all check out forestwildlife.com for more details.